<laughs> hey, good people. Michelle Gomez here, your marketing strategist. Uh, yesterday was a really interesting day. Um, had some great conversations with people on Instagram, uh, just discussing marketing tips to help them with their profile or just their overall branding. And I was in the middle of working on a client project, a marketing plan, and I thought this would be a good time to kind of share with you what I do and how I work. So I'm a strategist. Um, I work with larger organizations on creating inclusive marketing campaigns. And for solopreneurs or smaller businesses, I help them come up with strategy. So I'm going to share with you my marketing outline that I, you know, one of the stages I present to clients. Um, anytime I finish the marketing plan, it can be anywhere from about 30 to 50 pages, depending on how detailed we go, how much information is out there. Um, how much they're going to pay me as well. Um, another thing is with a lot of business owners, they want a marketing plan, but they don't have a business plan. The business plan should always come first. The business plan complements the efforts that are going to go into the marketing plan. Um, as you can see, we start off with the introduction, which is just executive summary organization, uh, the product or the service being offered and company history, right? The marketer is not going to know that. Only the owner, the founders, the team, the leadership will know that, right? Of course, we can ask questions and we can interview. But once again, this this is the first thing that goes into a business plan, right? Um, then we move on to, to the strategic plan, um, the mission statement. What are the overall goals and objectives? So you're going to have the business goals and objectives. And then, of course, the marketing goals and objectives, uh, from there, we have the revenue models. How will this company make money? Is it speaking? Is it products? Um, you know, water bottles, right? Um, can you see this? Okay. <laughs> water bottles. Um, is it courses? Uh, what are the different ways that this business can make money? Now that we know how we're going to market, I mean, how we're going to make money, who are we going to target these products and services to? Um, lots of times you can have high end tickets. Um, or you can have, you know, low end tickets. When I started out seven years ago, um, I have a $10 book, right? Because I just want to get the buy in. And I believe if you buy the $10 book, uh, may, at that time, maybe I can come to your event and speak to a thousand for a thousand dollars, right? Um, so, and there can be levels when it comes to your, um, how customers are going to invest with you regarding the different revenue models, right? So you can have a regular customer, just say your avatar target market was 25 year olds um, that are interested in learning about networking, right? They can afford $10, but then you might have a higher end item, which goes into a higher end demographic target market. Um, the company, the organization that can afford to pay you five, ten thousand dollars to speak, right? So those are the different target markets you want to be aware of. You can't have more than one customer type of customer. So around that, what is the brand strategy, right? Um, lots of times when we think about branding, we think about our colors, our logos, our font, all of that's important. Presentation is very, very important. But what is the strategy behind that? right? How are we going to reach out to these people? How are we going to get the attention? How many impressions do we have to have to get the person's attention before they click on our website, before they go to the car, things of that nature? What is your strategy behind the brand? And that's why it's important to have your branding, your colors uniform in that. Um, and with that, the components, the messaging, and what makes you different, right? What's going to make you different um, in the market, which leads to the situational analysis, right? We have our strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. What is the industry doing? What are our competitors doing? And we all know we may have more than one competitor. Kind of goes back to our customer, our target market. Um, you know, low hanging fruit, high hanging fruit. Um, so what are people doing? I always say it's good to have about three to five competitors, um, that you're looking at to kind of gauge what you're going to do and where you're at. Let's see. What is the environment? This is really important, um, especially right now. There's just a lot of chaos, obviously, with the pandemic. We have locations 
Um, we have the West Coast that is going through um, fires. Um, we have uh, the Southern, the Gulf Coast that is um, struggling with hurricanes. Does that play a part in when it comes to your business, the products and services that you're offering? An environment can be really detailed. I think sometimes that goes unnoticed or a lot of attention doesn't go into the environmental analysis. Um, the third section, fourth section, <laughs> we have the digital marketing strategy and tactics. Okay. I think sometimes we just jump into the fun part, right? We think about social media. I have to have a website. Maybe you need an app. Um, but what are the intricacies that go into that? Uh, do you need push notifications uh, with your website? Do you need one page? Is it 10 page? How much content are you going to add to that website? Um, is SEO important? I come from um, where I worked at the law firm. Personal injury was highly competitive. Um, so when you get to PPC, it's very expensive. But that organic reach of SEO is very, very important because we want to rank, um, if not number one, on the first page of Google. Um, do you, On your website, do you have... Um, a landing page? Are you able to capture emails in order for you to grow your list? If you're creating courses and you have a decent sized audience, um, but you know you want to reach a bigger audience, maybe you need to partner with other content creators, right? And then create an affiliate marketing program where anytime that they sell something, they're going to earn 10 to 20% of that sale. And then public relations. Um, I'm very big on media. Do you need to be featured on Entrepreneur, Essence, um, or any of these websites when it comes to your service offerings? And the last section is the implementation. How are you going to execute this, right? What is the marketing campaign within the strategy that's going to bring the attention um, to your item? And then with that campaign, what is the timeline? What is the sequence of events? Um, what email are we sending out on day one, um, day three? day four, five, six, et cetera. And then of course the analytics, right? Google Analytics is a free tool. You can add that to your website. And then with the social media profiles, if you have a business account, it will give you the analytics. It's good, depending on how long your campaign is, it's good to look at your analytics at least once a week. Um, if it's, especially if it's a short campaign, you wanna look at it daily, kind of just see what, what's trending, what's going on here, right? Um, kind of do some A-B testing. If there, if if you see some things of like, hey, this is going down or it's not performing as well, it allows you to make some tweaks and hopefully increase sales, right? That's the importance of analytics and your KPIs or your benchmarks. Um, you like, okay, these are the goals. You know, by day five, we need 10 customers. By day 10, we need, you know, 10 or 20 customers, right? Um, and then we know at the end of the campaign, if we hit 30 customers, we've reached our goal, right? So your analytics are there to kind of tweak, to measure your performance. And then the key performance indicators are the benchmarks to let you know how well you're doing, the milestones, hopefully that you'll reach your goals. I hope this helps. This video is actually longer than I expected, um, but I think it's truly beneficial. It's comprehensive. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comments. I will answer them. And also let me know what other co content you would like to see. Happy marketing. <laughs>